pray for all those that serve this country at home and abroad. Pray for all those that wear the uniform, whether it be the uniform of armed forces or the uniform of law enforcement. And I just I thank you for your prayers for all of us that have the opportunity to serve this country in positions of leadership, that we can continue to find a way forward, continue to build on the strength of this country, continue to solve the intractable problems that face us. And when you pray, pray with confidence, because I truly do believe in those ancient words written millennia ago are still true today, words that Americans have clung to throughout our history, that if his people who are called by his name will humble themselves and pray, he'll do like he's always done. He'll hear from heaven. And he'll heal this land, this one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So pray for America, because America matters. Far beyond our time, far beyond our shores, America matters. So I appreciate that. I appreciate you all being here today. And I just, uh, I leave here today with renewed confidence. I can't wait to jump on the phone with the President when I get in the car and tell him how many of you came out on such a cold day <laughs> from both sides of the river. But I leave here with more confidence than ever that with the continued strong support and voice of the people of Iowa and Nebraska, with President Donald Trump in the White House, with all the great leadership we have representing us in both of these states, in Washington and in your state capitol, and with God's help, I know in my heart we will make America safe again. We will make America prosperous again. And to borrow a phrase, <laughs> we will make America great again. Thank you very much. God bless Iowa, God bless Nebraska, and God bless the United States of America.